Hi loves, I'm Cinder Page, and today you're going to learn something really important in life and that is how to paint elf ears. I decided to make this video because I've been wearing elf ears for like cosplay and for fun and for photo shoots for uh, quite a few years now and I often see people online with unpainted elf ears and if you don't want to paint them that's totally fine. I think you should do whatever makes you feel beautiful. If you want to take your photos or your cosplay to the next level then painting your elf ears makes the ears look more realistic. Pause this video, take a look at your ears. They are not one consistent color. They are similar to your face, but there's red, like ears are actually pretty red, and there's color variations. So take a look at them, you'll see, like that's what a real ear looks like. So if elves were real and they had ears, but just longer, they would have discoloration as well. So I'm just gonna teach you how to do that in a super easy way. The recommended way to paint latex, which these ears are latex and most elf ears that you'll find will be latex, uh, these are from, I hope I pronounce it right, Ardani, Ardani, um, and they do make some non-latex ones as well. I've only worked with latex, which these are, um, and the best um, way to paint them, or the recommended way is to use rubber grease paint. Um, that's like, I believe that's like hardcore face painting makeup or like maybe makeup they do on like prosthetics. Um, I don't have any and I've actually never used it. So I'm going to show you how I do it using like real makeup like cover up and foundation and concealer. And that's how I've always done it. And the reason why that's not recommended is because people say that deteriorates the latex in the ear. But I have a pair that I painted I believe four years ago and the makeup has sat on it for four years not removed and the latex is totally fine. There is a little bit more texture to it because of that, but it, it honestly, it's it's fine, you can't notice. So I just wanna show you that because I don't want you to have to go out and spend a lot of money buying the, the rubber grease paint um, and invest all this time and energy if it's super easy to do with the makeup you have at home. So real quick, I just wanna show you the left ear is the brand new ear I'm about to paint. The right ear is the one with the makeup that's been on it for like four years. And look at the texture on the right one. You can see like it's a little bit rougher and there's more texture, but the ear is fine and the integrity of the ear is to totally intact. If you want to use rubber grease paint, totally fine, go ahead and do it. I mean, there's other uses for it, so maybe if you're a cosplayer and you and you use those supplies often, it's worth the investment. But if you're just using elf ears once or twice, or you're not like a full-time cosplayer and you aren't going to use that paint makeup a lot, then maybe it's not worth it to buy, and then just using your face makeup will work. Um, the rubber grease paint is made with, I believe it's made with castor oil, um, and that's the recommended thing to use on latex, but I'm going to show you, you don't have to do that. Like, you could just use your makeup. All right, I just want to show you the ears and the packaging they come in. So these are the unpainted ears. Okay, so first I want to show you the difference. These are the exact same models of ears. These are the ears, the way they come. Hopefully that focuses. I can't tell if it's focusing, but this look how light this is. So this is considered an unpainted ear. This is after I painted it. So you can see the vast difference. Um, but this is unpainted, so it's basically white. They do come in a couple different skin tones as well, like a, a light one, a medium, and a dark one. So still not a lot of skin tones, so regardless, you're gonna need to paint them, unless they happen to be just your exact right color. But even in that case, your ears have dimension. They're not gonna be a solid color, so you need to paint them. And then I wanna show you these really nice Aradani, I think is how you say it, ears, compared to these are ones from Spirit Halloween. And you can see these kind of latch down on the earlobe, which looks way nicer. These go over your whole entire ear, and it's harder to blend in. But they both, I mean, work, so it's fine. I just kind of wanted to show you the variation. All right, so you're going to need whatever face makeup you use. And I like to use a beauty sponge, so just regular beauty sponge and my cover-up. Also some concealer. And then you're also going to need colors to add to it as well. So I'm using this palette here and I'm going to use like this kind of um, orangey reddish shade because your skin on your ears is not all one color. So you need something to add some definition and some redness because ears are pretty red. And then really what I do is I take the makeup and I apply it like you would your normal makeup. So my sponge is damp. And the nice thing is that I have this little wand that I could apply the cover up and then watch me go through and put it on. You'll see a huge difference in the shade of color. And you could do this regardless of your skin tone. And that's why I like using your, your foundation is because it's already matched to your skin. So it's already going to blend in well. 
and look at that difference. Just that alone made a big difference. Um, when I film this, I do have a spray tan, so my skin is more tan than my cover-up makeup, but I just use my regular cover-up because most of the time when I wear these ears, I'm not gonna have a spray tan. If you were doing a costume with a different skin tone that's not your normal skin tone, you could definitely do that too. So if you want blue or purple skin, you could get paint and do that as well. Uh, what I do is I just add a little concealer just to cover it up a little bit more and also to just make sure it's really wet so I could apply the um, eyeshadow here in a minute. Because if you look at your ears, the kind of outer rim of your ears and the earlobe are going to be the most red. So you want to be able to have that color on there. And look at the difference. It's massive. And then you do also want to make sure you get the, the back of the ear as well. So if somebody's standing behind you or the photo shows from the behind, it's not white. Because <laughs> that, that looks funny if you do that. And then I take the brush and do this orange color, which at first looks way darker than my skin tone. But honestly, your ears are so red. And then I take that and I just brush it on the outside just to add more definition. And you can see it's already starting to look way more realistic. So I'm going to go through and do this, and then I'm going to do it to the other ear, and I'll let you watch. So something else I did is I did set it with my face powder because if you use just foundation and concealer on your face and you don't set it, then what happens? It's really wet and sticky and we don't want these to be wet and sticky. So I did use the face powder to set it in place and it does the same effect on your face. It just locks it into place and then with the ones I have already owned that are sitting in the background there, I just left them like that and they've been totally fine. And then for the eyeshadow, I, I like this palette, the Come As You Are palette is really nice. Um, but if you don't have that or you have different undertones in your skin, what I recommend using is definitely a matte eyeshadow. Unless you want to have a shimmery look, which sometimes for elves is fine. But it's good to start with like a matte eyeshadow first and then add shimmer later if you want. And you want that to be similar to your skin tone. So if you're cool, warm, or neutral, similar, but just like a darker version. And that's what I did here. And I felt like this shade was the best one that I own. And that's why I used it. But you don't have to go out of your way and buy new eyeshadow to use it. Just do something similar. And if it doesn't seem exactly perfect, that's okay. Because nobody's going to sit here and critique your ears too much. But you just want to have that general look of them being a real ear. All of the makeup I used is pretty inexpensive. It's e.l.f. and Wet n Wild. So if you have really high-end cover-up at home and you don't want to use it, you can just go buy an inexpensive one that matches and that works fine too. Or if you have uh, a cover-up or a foundation that's very drying, you might not want to use that. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this helped you. If you want to know any more information on elf ears or anything else that has to do with dressing up or photo shoots, let me know. Um, I did dress up actually in this outfit I have on for a special project I've been working on and I filmed the behind the scenes of that and that will be released soon. So that is going to be me doing a selfie set, so shooting my own photos. I know that not everybody has a photographer at their disposal. I live with my photographer, but not everybody does. And you know, you want to take some cool pictures, I'm going to show you how to do it. So like and subscribe if you want to see that, and that video will be out soon. And until next time, keep sinning.